working with the Senate for an aid bill, $95 billion bill that was passed on a bipartisan vote on Tuesday. So let's break down what's inside. Approximately $60 billion to Ukraine, $14.1 billion to Israel, $9.2 billion in humanitarian aid for Gaza, and over $8 billion to Taiwan. First, is this a package that you would support? Well, I certainly support the aid to Ukraine. I think it is uh, urgent and uh, look forward to working to get a vote uh, on that. Uh, in terms of uh, aid to uh, Taiwan, I also support that. And in terms of aid to, to Israel, it has to be coupled with strong support uh, for humanitarian aid to Gaza. And we need to make sure that any aid is uh, uh, only defensive and not uh, being used to uh, uh, aid the uh, campaign in Rafa, uh, which the president, President Biden, uh, has called uh, uh, in not for not to happen. I do want to talk about Israel aid later, but are you saying that that would have to come with stipulations? Would you vote for this package as is, say it's introduced? Well, it's not going to be as is. Uh, the House will amend it, and I think it make it better. And, uh, but I want to get to, uh, obviously, a, a yes on Ukraine aid. I talked to two of your Republican colleagues over the past week, uh, Congressman Tim Burchett and Congresswoman uh, Anna Paulina Luna, both said that they are full stop, absolutely not, no funding for Ukraine. What do you make of that? Well, it's unfortunate because if you talk to the experts, Ukraine has about two months uh, to uh, get artillery. Otherwise, we're handing Putin a victory and he's going to go into Donbas, Luhansk, uh, Odessa, uh, and uh, really take over territory in a way that's illegal and going to uh, hurt Ukrainian lives. Uh, so I hope that uh, the United States patriotism can appeal uh, where Republicans, remember, they used to be the party that was against uh, uh, Russian imperialism.